गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एक्वेरियम मॉन्स्टर्स सो एज यू हैव सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ न्योन टेट्रा केयर दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट कॉमन न्योन टेट्रा डिजीजेस अ कॉमन डिजीजेस फॉर द फिश आर कॉल्ड न्योन टेट्रा डिजीज एंड फॉल्स न्योन टेट्रा डिजीज बोथ आर फेटल डिजीजेस विच विथ नो क्योर एट द मोमेंट टू प्रोटेक्ट द अदर्स वन शुड इमिडिएटली रिमूव फ्रॉम द एक्वेरियम एंड इन्फेक्टेड मेम्बर not many fish keeper realize that other breeds are not immune for the disease the name neon tetra disease stems from the fact that the disease was first discovered in neon tetras most other tetra breeds are at risk and a lot of other completely different breeds can catch it what causes neon tetra disease the disease is caused by the parasites which attach to host within an aquarium The most common culprits are usually the dead bodies of other fish and on some live foods such as tubifex. Once inside the intense intestinal tract, the disease will start to eat the muscles from the inside out. And the most common way to spot this is is the apparent discolor and lightening of the scales. Other symptoms include difficulty in swimming, a lumpy exterior, restlessness, loss of color a curvature of a spine other secondary infections such as fin rot and blotting can develop as a result of this disease but they are not directly related signs of fin rot and blotting may be induction of neon tetra disease but they may not keeping a high quality of water can be enough to prevent an outbreak of any disease and knowing where your fish tank came from uh, fish tank came from can be good tool for prevention too tanks which are currently occupied by ill fish can greatly increase the risk of your fish catching this disease so guys please take care of this neon tetra disease and keep the water quality as best as possible do good filtration so hope you like this video it was helpful to you do subscribe to our channel like comment and share the next video will be on neon tetra diet So stay tuned for the video